Hello friends, myself Pradeep Kumar Singh and now on the behalf of Engineers Institute of India I am going to uh, discuss some problems on the thermodynamics okay? Now, as, as far as video is concerned, we have already discussed the topic CRE and mass transfer okay? and process dynamics control also Now, in the same sequence, I am just going to start the topic thermodynamics Now, some problems of the thermodynamics are like that Now, this is question number 32 Now, in this question <coughs> They have compared the reversible uh, process, adiabatic process, and irreversible adiabatic process. Now, as you know that the work done in the irreversible process is higher than the reversible. Okay. Now, that's why they have given that the given data. They have given P1 is equal to 3 bar and P2 is equal to 6 bar. Now, they have compre <coughs> compressed. Now, and T1 is 300 Kelvin. Okay. Now, and they have also given that work done in the irreversible process is 1.5 times the work done in the reversible. Okay. And CV is <coughs> this is a specific heat and a constant volume is 30 Joule per mole Kelvin. And <coughs> value of gas constant 8.314 Joule per mole Kelvin. And gamma. This is ratio 1.277. Now, <coughs> they have asked what is the output temperature T2 when the process has worked process has worked by the irreversible process. Now, first of all, we have to find out what is the work done in the reversible process. Now, as you know that the work done in the reversible process, reversible adiabatic process. Now, work done in the reversible adiabatic process is equal to Cv into this is simply you can say here this is T2 minus T1. Now Cv is known to you, T1 is known to you, you have to find the value of T2. Now since process is adiabatic, as you know that how the temperature is going to change with respect to pressure. Now since T2 upon T1 is equal to P2 upon P1 to power gamma minus 1 upon gamma. Okay? Now here you have to find out what is the output temperature T2 when the work is done on the system by the reversible adiabatic process. Okay. Now, then T1 is given you as a 300 Kelvin. Now, just put the values here. <coughs> now, just put here T2 is T1 is 300 and the ratio is given as a 2 and this is 1.277 minus 1 upon 1.277. Now, if you solve, you will get the value 348.67 Kelvin. This is the temperature when the, process, when the work is done on the system by the reversible adiabatic path. Now, if you want to find out the work done, the work done is, just put here, the CV is known to you, T2 you have find out and T1 is known to you. If you put all the values here, you will get the work done in the reversible process is equal to 1460 Joule per mole. Okay? Now, Similarly here, since it is given that the work done in the irreversible process is 1.5 times more than the reversible, then you can easily find out what is the work done during irreversible process. Now, work done during irreversible process is 1.5 times the 1460. This is the work done in the reversible. If you solve, you will get 2190 joule per mole. Okay, this is the work done in the irreversible process. And again, the formula for the work done is simply you can say Cv into T final minus T1 which is 300 Kelvin. Now this is given as 300 Kelvin. Now Cv is given as a 30 Joule per mole and Tf you have to find out. Okay. Now and this is equal to 2190. Just put the values here, here. You can easily find the value of Tf is equal to 373 Kelvin. Okay. Because you have this is work done irreversible process and Cv is equal to Tf this. Tf will be changed like that. That's why this is Tf and T1 is given to you. Now, along with this, you can easily find out what is the output temperature during irreversible adiabatic process. Okay, this is a problem. Now, as far as the next problem is concerned on the basis of thermodynamics is question number 33. Now, as far as question number 33 is concerned, <coughs> now just see. In the problem 33, they have given P is equal to the equation of state 
This is R3 upon V minus B, where B is the constant, B is the function of temperature, and they have told that the V is going to change as a V0 plus V1 into T. Okay? And V is the specific volume, T is the actual temperature. Now, and they have given the value of V0 is equal to 4 into 10 to the power minus 5. And V1, they have also given 1.35 into 10 to the power minus 7. Okay? Now, and they have also given a lesson how the enthalpy how the enthalpy is going to change with respect to pressure at the constant temperature and they have given the relation like <coughs> this is V minus T into del V upon del T at constant pressure this has given and they have just asked what is the change in enthalpy okay, during the process if HF is the final enthalpy and HI is the initial enthalpy now, in this condition, you have changed the pressure and also they have given that the pressure has changed from 15 from 5 to 15 Okay, this is the initial pressure and this is the final pressure Now, since ultimately you will find out what is the change in the enthalpy Now, first of all, in order to find out the change in enthalpy, you have to find out these two values Now, since this V you can find out from this equation now, from this equation, you can find the value of V here. This, if you solve this equation, you will get the value of V is equal to simple RT upon P plus B. And B is given as a V0 plus V1 T. If you put here the value of V here, you will get V0 plus V1 into T. Okay. Now, if you solve, the, you will get the V is equal to T R by P plus V1 plus V0. This is the value of V, a specific volume. Now, similarly, if you differentiate this value with respect to temperature at constant pressure, you will, get, you will be able to get this value. Okay, now just differentiate this equation number 2. Now, just differentiate the equation number 2. <coughs> now, del V upon del T at constant pressure, you will simply get R by P plus V1. Okay. Now, this is equation number 3. Now, put the value of equation number 2 and 3 in equation number 1 in order to find out this value. If you put all these values, you will get simply, just put here all the values here. Now, del H upon del T at constant temperature, you will simply get, if you put all the values, okay, you will get the simply value as a V0. And V0 is given as a 4 into 10 power minus of 5. Okay, now <coughs> this value you will get after putting the value of V and del V upon del T. Okay, you will find out here, you will get the value of V0. Now, you will find out change in enthalpy. This is suppose delta H is simply V0 into delta P. So, V0 is your final 4 into 10 power minus of 5, and pressure has changed from 5 to 15 <coughs> minus 5 to simply 10 power 6. Okay. Now, if you put here values, you will get the value as a 400 joule per mole. Okay. This is simply the change in enthalpy. Okay. Now, the next problem of the thermodynamics is question number 34. <coughs> now, the question number 34, this is a part of solution thermodynamics. Now, this is problem number 34. Now, in the problem 34, they have given that the binary component x1 is 0.4, this is x2 is 0.6, okay. and they have also given g1 upon rt is equal to 1, g2 upon rt is equal to 2. Now, they have asked what is the value of g upon rt. Okay. Now, since this is the case of solution thermodynamics, as you know that the g axis is equal to simply g minus g ideal okay and if you divide the whole equation by rt for our simplicity okay now ultimately you have to find the value of this that since you have to find the value of g upon rt this is g upon rt is equal to simply you can get here g e upon rt plus g ideal upon rt okay now and in the problem they have given that the GE upon RT is equal to 
they have three x1 x2 they have given okay now since z upon rt is given as three x1 x2 and the value of z ideal upon rt from the <coughs> ideal this is the property and from the property you will able to get the value of z ideal you can write like that this is z ideal which is equal to summation xi into gi plus rt into summation xi ln xi okay this is z ideal now since two components are there x1 into g1 plus x2 into g2 plus rt see this is x1 ln x1 plus x2 ln x2 okay now Just divide the whole equation since we have to find out g ideal upon rt. Divide the whole equation by r, rt. g ideal upon rt. You will get x1 into g1 by rt plus x2 into g2 by rt plus this rt will cancel out. Simply this is x1 ln x1 plus x2 ln x2. Now, g ideal upon rt is known to you. g upon rt is equal to, I have told you, this is equal to 3x1 x2. Just put the value and find the value g upon rt. It means simply g upon rt is equal to 3x1 x2. Okay? And plus g ideal upon rt is value is given as the again x1 into g1 upon rt plus x2 into g2 upon rt plus x1 ln x1 plus x2 ln x2. Now all values is given to you. X1 is given as a 0.4 x2 is given as 0.6 and g1 upon rt value is given as a 1 g2 upon rt is given as a 2 now if you put all the values you will simply get the value of g upon rt this is g upon rt is equal to simply 1.65 this is the simple okay means this is your all about your thermodynamics problem okay now you can also Go through the uh, this book, uh, chemical engineering gate solution. Okay, and all the for the more update, you can go through the this book for the more complete solution of the gate 2016 and last 20 year question problems. Okay, now thank you. Thank you.